All right, what's going on, guys? Well, uh, like in my last video I put up, I had some uh, new stuff come along that I wanted to share with you guys, and uh, kind of been looking into redoing some, uh, you know, older guns that I own. And my father, over the years, uh, had collected a few firearms that uh, have, you know, been mis uh, neglected and you know just hadn't been taken real good care of. And you know, I asked him about a couple of them. You know, and a couple of them were family family guns that you know weren't in bad shape and we've always kept in good shape but there's been a couple that you know he's come across that he's gotten that uh were just in terrible shape you know and uh so i kind of wanted to get into kind of redoing some and uh try my hand at it and uh mr willwood 487 kind of inspired me to start getting into this and as a matter of fact i uh was over at my parents house yesterday and uh I was, you know, talking to my dad about it, and he, you know, he said, well, you know, there's that one shotgun that we've got that's just real bad shape. I don't know if anything much can be done with it. He said, but you're more than welcome to do whatever you want to with it. So, needless to say, and as you probably can tell, this thing is rough. And uh, it's just an old model uh, 410 uh, shotgun made by, uh, I believe their uh, FIE is the name of it. They're basically made for uh, Kmart and uh, Sears, places like that to sell, uh, as far as uh, just a cheap shotgun. By no means is this, you know, an expensive gun. By no means, it, I believe at best, uh, Will would tell me, you know, at best, in perfect condition, you might get, you know, 50, 60 bucks for one of these. So, uh, you know, if I mess it up, I mess it up. You know, I'm not going to be out much. But the uh, funny thing is, if you check out his channel, uh, the 20 gauge he recently did is almost identical to this thing and let's see if I can zoom in a little bit and show you guys it's got some you know scroll work on it some things that way but you can see obviously the stock is destroyed and a uh, big chunk is knocked out of it it's barely hanging on by a thread but the barrel I mean it's just covered in and uh, in rust let's see if you guys can see that which I'm hoping you can but you can see it was made in Brazil, and of course I'm not going to try to pronounce the uh, company that made it. But uh, you know, it's you know could be could be a nice gun. Uh, the four uh, four end still in good shape. Uh, nothing going on there, but like I say, the barrel is just really really rough. Um, again, the stock. Uh, well, I've already uh, found a uh, replacement stock for it, which is uh, the main thing I look for first. Uh, I have done some metal refinishing work on some things before, uh, nothing too extensive, but uh, Willwood, uh, again, Willwood487 was nice enough to give me some tips and kind of uh, help me out, kind of getting started on what I needed to look at uh, as far as redoing this because uh, he has redone uh, very many uh, guns, uh, done a lot of them, and uh, they've turned out real nice. Uh, and uh, he's into the dura coating, and I possibly probably gonna try to get him to dura coat this. But like I say, it's just it's just rough, and we're gonna see if we can't do something with it, and maybe uh, make a couple of videos along the way showing you the progress. But again, uh, you know everything seems to work okay on the gun. Of course, let's see if I can break this down for you guys. It's not loaded, and uh, but it's still as far as the function of the shotgun goes everything still works fine uh, I'm actually gonna try to take it out and uh, shoot it to make sure uh, everything's functioning on it uh, I have not done yet that yet but as far as everything is uh, looking as far as it functioning and being able to fire it's still in good enough condition to do that with but uh, we're gonna see if we can't give this thing a little uh, restoration and uh, get it back to looking you know somewhat nice I'm thinking that uh, Will would actually said that it was almost just like somebody before has actually blued this uh, receiver and it should be polished. So I'm going to see if we can't get that back off of there and uh, see if we can't polish that back out. Uh, and again, get him to maybe help me uh, deer coat this barrel uh, and go from there. But just kind of want to give you guys a sneak peek into this. I wanted to make a video before I started on it because I've been wanting to get my hands on it. Uh, now for a couple of days and start seeing if I can get some of this rust off of here. Like I say, uh, it's it's pretty bad as you guys can tell. So hopefully we'll be able to do a little something with us and uh, have a little fun along the way and learn something. So uh, you guys take care as always and uh, we'll talk to you later.